Hi all you treasure hunters. Welcome back to TLT Treasures. I'm opening with my best find this week, but I'm going to do a pan shop first of the haul table. I got these at three or four different places. I did a couple estate sales this week. I did an online bidding estate sale and an in-person one. And then I also went down to St. Vincent de Paul Thrift in Melrose Park. Whenever I have a dentist appointment, I like to hit that one. So this is my hauls, and I'll take a few minutes to talk about them. Um, first off, I got this one from the thrift store that I work at. It was only $2 for the whole bag of yarn. I crochet and knit, so whenever I find beautiful yarn, I have to pick it up. This was an estate sale. It's an inlaid wood castle. It was $7. They don't sell for a whole lot, but I should be able to make a little bit of profit on that. There's a little bit of water damage on the back, but it doesn't carry over to the front, so it shouldn't affect the value. These two cookbooks I got at estate sales a couple weeks ago, but I think I forgot to put them in the video. Um, if you run across the vintage cookbooks, they sell anywhere between $15 and $25, depending on condition. These are pretty well worn and loved. I only paid a dollar each for them. This one is from 1950 and that one's from 1962. So um, I didn't know that till another YouTuber told me that those can sell pretty well. Um, this again I got from the thrift store I work at. It's just a little velvet purse. It's called Escada. Um, I think I paid, I don't know, under $2. Yeah, $1.98. And they sell anywhere between nine and fifteen dollars. Over here is a Brighton purse. I got that for under five dollars. And this is a coach purse. Yes, it's real. I've checked it all out. You can just tell by the stitching, the feel of the leather, the weight of the buckles. It's got the inside tag. So does the Brighton purse. Um, and you can look up the serial numbers um, on it. So that's always a good tell, um, but usually I just tell by feel. I only picked those up. This was like $7. This was like $4. This is a plaster woman figurine. I just love her face. She actually isn't all that heavy. Um, I would just need to do a lot of air pockets if I'm going to ship her. She was $7 on an online estate sale auction. This is a onyx stone tulip planter got this one for just a couple dollars i think a dollar fifty i really liked this burl i think it's from a piece of burl a burl wood cat but i just really like the back too uh, the face does look like she's a little shocked that she was carved but um it was four dollars i did pay or three dollars paid up for that a little bit but usually the burl wood stuff goes pretty well back here is an inlaid box i might have featured this on another video but it had a lot of um staining and gunk right here i just wanted to show that i was able to get it off and then i went over it with some linseed oil and some old english to kind of cover things up and it turned out really nice. So that chomping you're hearing in the background is my dog chewing on a bone. Only way to get him quiet. This is a blue Fenton. I call them Eperns. I don't know the correct pronunciation. I might be saying it all wrong. But they've got the three little... If you ever see one of these in the store, that's what they go for is they sit in here and they're supposed to be flower arrangements. So this was an estate sale. I did pay up for this. It was originally um, $68. I went on half price day, so it was $34. But they can sell anywhere from $75 to over $100, depending on the size, condition, and the color, because they will come in different colors. So this I found interesting. I guess it's an old whiskey decanter. There was only 250 of them made for a special festival. I guess P.T. Barnum made this Jenny Lind figure famous. And it says on the bottom that it was made for this Barnum festival that was established in 1949. I picked it up for $1.50, not knowing what it was, did some research. And they sell anywhere between $20 and $40. So, again, I can't 
I can't resist the cats. So this isn't going to make a huge profit. Um, it is marked there, and I was able to look up the mark. I bought it for you know, $1.50. Um, so even if I sell it for, you know, $9.99, I'm doing good. Um, I found these little, um, they're like little snuff bottles. This one was hand-painted. I did find a few others of these um, online. This one has, I don't know if it'll focus, little tree motif on it. And then this one, I think that's just a piece of transfer wear on there. I don't think that one's hand painted. And then these two little depression glass bud vases, one in pink and one in blue. These were all between a dollar and a dollar fifty. So I think the only one that was a dollar fifty was the blue one. And then these were all in a bag. They were made in Germany. There's a set of four with the poppies. And then there's a set of two with the pink roses. And then there's this Valentine one. So I've seen one or sets of two sell for about seven dollars. Um, on up to like 15 for larger sets and I paid a dollar for the bag These were a dollar fifty a piece. They're these black glass cats. Oh, nope. They were two dollars a piece Sorry about that. Glad I left a price tag on one. They're made for special gifts from Taiwan There's no chips or cracks on these. It is going to be a little bit hard to get them photographed um, Got to use a white background and watch your ring light when you're doing these because you can already see they can take on a green hue or some of the other colors around them. So I did look up at comps. I don't remember. It's not a huge profit, but again, um, just paid a couple dollars for them. So if I come away between nine and $15, I'm, I'm good. This is a lovely cloisonne egg with uh, Easter coming up soon. I wanted to go ahead and start picking up some um, decorative stuff with eggs or bunnies or whatever. And I found this one. It was just a couple dollars again. Which brings me to my little lamb. We have a free cycle group near me um, where people post things for free. And I put in to get her, and I got her. I do not sell stuff that I get on Free Cycle. This will be used to decorate for my Easter. I just love her. So the only things that I flip for profit are things that I buy. Anything I take from the Free Cycle group is for my own personal collection. So um, the next thing I got was this courting couple. Uh, it's a vintage, I think it's a planter, but I've also seen them listed as goldfish bowls. I think it's a little small for a fish bowl. Um, don't know why you would list it as that, but um, it was, again, just a few dollars. I think uh, most of the things that came from St. Vincent de Paul are just $1.50, $2. This was the only thing that was slightly expensive from St. Vincent, and these are actually Royal Hager. They're marked on the bottom. Where are they? Royal Hager. They are three-tiered taper candlestick holders. The glaze on there is just gorgeous for that arts and crafts period. Um, kind of the Frank Lloyd Wright with all the natural earth tones. I did get the set of two and it was three, $3 or 350 for the set of two. Let's see next. Oh, my partridge or bird or whatever you want to call them. This is another um, estate sale. Did pay up for this. I paid $25. Um, it is marked Juices. Um, it's from Netherlands Juices Glass. I had to look it up before I went to the sale. That's the only reason I knew what it was. But you can tell with these um, like feather drags here is what they're called. That's what makes these um, lines and the iridescence. The one I saw that was comped was about $80, but it just had a bubble textured back to it. It didn't have this lovely feathered iridescence. Um, the only other one I saw that had the feathered iridescence sold for about $120. That was in Europe. Um, I saw one listed for $4.99, but as you say, you can list it for anything. Um, it only matters what it sells for. So... 
Um, this I picked up just because it was a cute fairy. I do have a fairy garden and I was thinking if it wasn't worth anything that I would go ahead and put it in my fairy garden. It still might end up there. I don't know. It was um, 98 cents. It is pewter. It is um, part of a chess set, actually. Um, and just a single piece um, will sell anywhere between 15 and $20. This was made by one of those collectibles. I can't remember what it was for. Um, but this is a pawn. And it was one of those, you know, um, I think probably one of those magazine advertisements where you get a chess piece every month or whatever for the subscription, right? Um, let's see. Oh, here's my poor little black cat. This black cat was 98 cents and I really liked it. Not because it's a black cat, just because of the derpy look on its face. It has rhinestone eyes. There you go. Um, and just the tongue. She dropped it, um, in checking out and broke the foot. I did get the cat for free after that. It does still stand just a little wobbly, but if you were to put it in a plant or a planter or, you know, you could even hang it on the, the side of a cup if you wanted to. Um, what would help if I had the camera follow you over there? Um, but I probably won't list it. If you watch the video and you're interested in it, let me know. And um, maybe you'll be gifted my little derpy black cat that I couldn't resist picking up. This is a, oh look, left the price tag on that one. Got it for $2.50. Um, it is, says Germany on the back, and it's a Hudson Ruther, however you say that, um, hand painted. I never know what all these dishes are for. Some of them are celery plates, some of them are bread plates. I don't know what the smaller dish is for. I know the celery and the breads are pretty big. So if you know what these smaller ones are for, let me know. Um, I know in Victorian times they had special plates for everything. I also found um, the set was $2.50. Um, a set of, I think it's like a blue teal color, double candlestick holder from the Depression Glass era. I also found these Wedgwood cups. They were $1.50 each. We have St. Paul's Cathedral. And then we also have um, Hampton Castle. So they were only $1.50 each. They sell for around $10 a piece. I also got this ashtray with it. Um, it was actually taped to the top of one of them. So I got it in with the $1.50 price of the mug. Um, if you don't smoke, it would be great if you did tea and you wanted to steep your tea or just as decorative. I found this really cool pool shark. Um, it's a engraved, well, kind of an etched. Um, my dad started a um, pool club at the um, community where he lives, and so I was going to send that to him. It was only about 50 cents for me. Um, let's see. I bought a pair of earrings for me. These are Monet's. They have stones in them. They were only $2.98. These will be for me. I think that's it except for my pictures in the back. These were also an estate sale find. I haven't washed off the price tags yet, but it was half price day. So they were actually $5 a piece. And they are all made out of seashells and then, um, just little beads to accentuate certain parts. Everything else is seashells and I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them yet. I haven't been able to find any comps. If you have any comps, let me know. This one was $8 because she must have fallen off the wall and her glass broke and there's a little issue with her um, frame down there, but I'm going to repair it and put glass in there before I sell them. Um, those little doves right there come out of the center of sand dollars. So I just thought they were very unique and unusual. I've seen mid-century modern seashell art, but they're mostly bouquets of flowers. 
I don't know that I've ever seen ladies like these. So if you know of any comps, let me know. Again, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and leave me a comment of what your favorite item was. Thanks for watching and happy treasure hunting.